Thank you. Oh, it's kind of chilly in here. Are you all right? Hmm? Okay. Just a lot, a lot of things going through my mind right now. Pardon? There's just a lot of things going through my mind right now. Yeah, I bet. I bet you must, um, mine must just be rising. Um, your name is Saz, Safraz? Yeah. Safraz, just, excuse me, just one second. Did they get your cuffs comfortable for you? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Where are you from, Seth Raz? Where am I from? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, we used to live in California. Where do you live now? Um, Ocala. In Ocala? Yeah. Um, I'm Detective Williams with the Flagler Beach Police Department, Liz Williams. Um, and what I would like to do is talk to you about what happened tonight. Okay. Um, before I do that, I want to let you know what your rights are. Have you ever been arrested before? Never. Um, you have the right to remain silent in anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. If at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. And basically what that means is that I would like to talk to you, but you don't have to talk to me. If you choose to talk to me, and at any time you get uncomfortable, you don't want to talk anymore, then you can um, request to have an attorney present. Do you understand that? And are you willing to talk to me? Um, I, I have some questions, but I don't know if it's appropriate to ask because I, I don't really understand the system, the process that well. Um, do, you, do you understand your rights? Yeah. But I, I don't want to say something that could make things worse for me. Am I, will I be spending the night in jail? Yes, you will. When, when will I be released? Well, what's going to happen is um, you're going to go to our county jail, and then in the morning, which is not very far away now, um, you'll see the judge, and the judge will assign your bond. Well, what does that mean? That means he's, the judge, whether it's a male or female, is going to tell you how much bond how much money you're going to have to pay to be able to get out of jail. And what that is, is it's kind of like an insurance policy to make sure that you're going to come back and um, go to your court hearings. Okay. Well, what, what does that usually entail? Is it, um, what are, is it going to be something like, like how much money are we talking about? I have no idea. Far be it for me to ever speak for a judge. Um, I really don't know. It's going to depend on uh, what the judge sees fit. Um, you, I'm sure you've had experience dealing with these kinds of things, but how 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 would this affect my job and my school? I, I haven't had a chance to even talk with you. I don't know where you you work or where you go to school or anything. I, so I don't I don't have any idea. Okay. Okay. Obviously, if you work with young teenage girls, then it's going to affect your job. Okay, but I don't know that about you. I'd like to get back to um, uh, whether or not you understand your rights and if you would like to talk to me. But uh, okay, but I, I don't. Okay, I, I will talk, but I don't really okay. know what what. Let's. Well, first of all, let's start off by, um, let me just get some information from, from you, okay? Okay. Do you have a middle name? No. And am I saying your name right, Safraz? Safraz. Safraz. Yeah. Okay. Forgive me if I get that wrong. It's okay. I just feel really terrible right now. And your birthday's nine thirteen of eighty one. Yeah. How old does that make you? Twenty five. Do you know your social security number? Yeah. Okay. What is that?
So that means you're a citizen? I'm a resident. Resident, yeah. okay. And how tall are you? About 5'11". And how much do you weigh? About 127. And where were you born? I was born in Guyana, South America. G-U-Y-A-N-A? -A. A -A? Yeah. And do you have any scars, marks, or tattoos? No. Do you have any surgical scars? Um, none that's visible. Okay, and you said you were a student? Yes. College, I'm assuming? College. And where is that? What grade are you in, or what um, level are you at? I guess I could be considered a junior. A junior? That's not what I did, right? Yeah, well, I'm taking the classes at the campus. Okay. Do and what's your address? And that's in Ocala? Yeah. Well, will I be responsible for... for um, uh, will I have to call my dad or someone? Well, we'll go over that in just one minute, okay? Okay. Um, what is your phone? What's the uh, zip code there, actually? 34480. And what's your phone number? You know, you were asking if um, you uh, were going to be allowed to call your dad or who you were well, supposed to call, I, or I, I didn't understand the question. Um, what I'm asking is, uh, will I, when, I will be, when, when will I be put, put in front of the judge in the morning? Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. And well, actually, today. I'm sorry. Because it's so late at night, right. early in the morning, it'll be sometime later on today. So, um, well, if if I can't meet the bond, the bail, what would happen to me? Then you're gonna have to wait in jail. Um, sometimes the judge will lower your bond if you can't make a bond. Um, but you have to make the bond. Like I said, that's the insurance policy. It has to be upfront. It can be payments. No. Do, do you have any idea, like an estimate of what it, I know it's a strange question, but my my fa my my family's not wealthy. Mm -hmm. and are, are we talking like a thousand dollars or maybe? I honestly couldn't tell you. Okay. It just depends on what the judge um, is going to do. That's, okay. that's not um, my job. Okay. That's the judge's job, and I really don't know. Okay. So, um, Safraz, what what's going on tonight? I just made a terrible mistake that could possibly affect me for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Right. Would that, would that be a fair assumption? That would be a very fair assumption, actually. But, you know, you could look at it on another point of view, too, that you made a mistake tonight that's going to affect you the rest of your life, but had this actually been a 13-year-old girl, you would have been making a mistake that would have affected her for the rest of her life. I know. And you would have left this weekend feeling nothing but pleasure. And she would have been devastated for the rest of her life. Right? So, how long have you been talking to... Who were you talking to? Who was I talking to? Pardon? Mm -hmm. What was her name? Um, she said her name was Kiana. Kiana? And how old yeah. is Kiana? Thirteen. Thirteen. And how long were you talking to her? About a week. A week? And um, I've read 
some of uh, these transcripts and they're pretty specific of what your intentions were when you got here. Um, everything from oral sex to vaginal sex, I mean, just everything. Uh, with doggy style, I mean, there's, it's pretty specific, so there's really not any question what your intent was when you came here, is there? No. And I wanted to ask you about the pictures that you sent to her. How did you do that, and what were those pictures of? Um, I, I took the pictures with the camera. And they were it was like a regular digital camera or yeah. cell phone camera or yeah digital camera mm -hmm. and then what uh i sent them okay and what were those pictures of pictures of me naked okay were you uh posing naked or were you touching yourself or doing anything to yourself in any of them do you remember no no what I don't think I was touching myself. You don't think so? Hmm. Okay. And where do your parents live? Do they live in... My, my dad does. Your dad does? Yeah. And where does your mother live? She, she's in Canada. She's in Canada? Yeah. And do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I do. Okay. And do they live at... Yeah. And are they brothers or sisters? I have um, three brothers and a sister. How old are your brothers? Um, 27, 21, 19. And they, these, all these children, siblings live at... Yeah. And how old is your sister? 15. So your sister is 15, um, and I'm assuming she has friends. Are you allowed to have friends stay over at your house? Um... Uh, my brother has had friends stay over the house before. Has your sister had friends stay over at the house? No. Never? No. Except for as, look at me. I'm looking You're at going you. to tell me and expect me to believe that your sister has never been allowed to have a friend stay over at your house. She's been allowed, but she's never had friends stay over before. She's been allowed to, yeah. but she chose not to. I don't know if she chose not to, but she's never had friends stay at the house before. Why do you think that is? I don't know, it's just... That's just what happened. I don't know. And where is your computer in your house? In my room. Do you have your own room or do you share a room? I, I have my own room. I have your own room. And how much time do you spend on the internet a day? I, I usually spend a lot of time. A lot of time is how much? Maybe a few hours. A few hours every day? Yeah. And is the majority of that time spent researching, chatting, what? Um. Some of it is spent chatting, and most of my time is spent looking up music. And so who are you chatting with besides um, Kiana? Uh, I, I usually talk to friends that, I, that I've met um, on the directory, but these are older. When we go and get your computer, how many young girls are going to be on your computer? Um, I don't know. Take a guess. Probably a lot. A lot of young girls? I, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's just going to help us. Uh, Obviously, are you guys, we're going to uh, are know, you, and it's just going to be in your best interest to you, be truthful. Well, can I ask a question? Yes. Will, will the police be going to my house? Well, if we have to go get your computer, yes. But that would I mean, you can tell me what's on your computer. But will they still be going for the computer? I don't know. I, I don't, I, I'm trying not to, I don't want my family. I can understand that. That it would be embarrassing and that some people might not understand. But yeah. I need to know how many other young girls are on that computer. And you can just take a guess at a number. I, I don't know. Is it more or less than 10? It's less than 